So I am finally doing the tattoo video that was uh, requested by, I think it was Matt who won a competition I did almost a year ago now. And as we both know, and all of us, I suck when it comes to getting these things up together. He wanted a photo of all my tattoos. So I'm finally doing that. First up we have this one which is on my lower arm. It's a, a yin yang symbol and a red star. Now a lot of my tattoos have a reason behind them or a story or something. This one was simply I was 19 and wanted a tattoo. That's all it was. And I thought this made me edgy having these particular uh, types. Uh, as you can see, it was done originally by someone uh, over a mould and uh, I've had to have it redone by the guy I go to quite regularly now. So uh, yeah, that one's a bit embarrassing. Next up I have my video game uh, life bar. That's now a lot of people ask, is this one from Zelda? And uh, no, it's just general video games. And there's no other reason behind this one other than I thought it looked awesome. Uh, I've, I'd been playing with this idea for ages and uh, finally got it done. This is on, uh, well, I mean, this is one of the ones you see a lot on my videos. Uh, people ask me, do I only have two hearts filled in for a reason? And uh, not really. <laughs> it was just the, the design I quite liked. But it could represent that a third of the way through my expected lifespan. This one is the Rebel Alliance. Uh, I have a friend who has is one tattoo he has on his right arm. He had the Imperial uh, insignia, and I liked how it looked. So I got the Rebel symbol on my left arm uh, to kind of, um, you know, be the opposite of him. Uh, I get a lot of people ask where the design came from, and the truth is, it came from the back of a Monopoly card. <laughs> the Star Wars Monopoly card. <laughs> uh, these are all on the same arm. Uh, this one is the Ash and Pikachu. I cannot tell you how many times I get, is that Mario and Pikachu? Uh, this is not really a very original design. I got it off the internet and a lot of people have it, but I just love it. Uh, it hasn't uh, healed very well. I didn't really look after it. I, and I got it over to cover some scarring from when I used to sell arm a bit over some burns. So all in all, it hasn't healed up too well. I'll probably have to get it done again. But yellow also isn't a colour that sits into skin too well. Uh, I love Pokemon. I loved Pokemon Yellow, and uh, it was my favourite one. I got 151 on it, so that's why I got that tattoo. Uh, next up is the Enterprise, the original. I had been toying for years about getting a Star Trek tattoo, and uh, one of the designs I originally wanted was the Defiant. Uh, there's a like a, a, a badge that they designed for it, or the Divine Project, which looks awesome. But uh, I never went for that. Uh, this one was, if you look at the other Star Trek tattoos and stuff, the Enterprise, they all look really crap. But this one, you know, straight lines, it was simple and black and white, and uh, I absolutely adore it. Uh, other than, yeah, this just represents my love for Star Trek. I absolutely adore it. Now this one, this one was, I was, 1920 when I got this and uh, <laughs> the top it's a three swan design from the front cover of a copy of a book called Hakakiri. Uh, I'm going to do a video on that because this book absolutely changed my life uh, for various reasons but uh, I went through a phase which I'm still in where I was obsessed with the samurai and uh, there's the Kanji on both sides, uh, top and bottom. Uh, one of them means honor, and the other one means warrior.
Samurai or something like that, I've forgotten. It was a long time ago. And you know, it was the typical awkward, oh yeah, uh, I'm so edgy, I'm getting a different language on me. <laughs> uh, next up, we have my uh, my Russian busty pinup. Uh, you don't see this one too often, it's on the top of my shoulder. I absolutely adore this tattoo. Uh, I like, um, I'm quite a big fan of pinup artwork. Uh, I got this one in 2008, I think. And uh, my wife hates this one. Like she, she says when we're cuddling up and she looks at it, it's staring at her. Um, my mother, on the other hand, ruined it for me by saying that's what she looked like in the 70s. And uh, I will delete any comments to that. Thank you very much. <laughs> but, uh, it was a, it's a nice, simple design. Uh, it came out really well. Uh, this one, the next one, is uh, um, going down my left-hand side of my ribs. Now, I had a big plan for the left-hand side of my ribs until, well, for my ribs in general, until I got this one. Uh, this is Sanskrit for today is a good day to die uh, and as you can tell I was in a good place when I got this uh, this was a couple of years into my mental health issue struggles before I got any diagnosis uh, I was not in a good place uh, I actually paid a translator for this one so I know it's kind of accurate but uh, the pain the pain of getting this one was so fucking unbearable uh, I, I had to stop. <laughs> it was just so bad. I couldn't do it for like more than like five minutes at a time. So that completely reworked my ideas for uh, other video, for other tattoo videos. God damn it. Other tattoos. <laughs> uh, this one is a drunken swallow. There's a, this one actually has a reason behind it. Um, there's a singer songwriter called Frank Turner. Uh, I just, he, he's getting pretty big now, I discovered him in a band called A Million Dead and it's like a post hardcore and he's in another hardcore band called a Mongol Horde and I love him and every time I get into really really bad funk he seems to release an album that I listen to and I just really connect with uh, this is off his, I think it was his fifth album and uh, I just absolutely adored it it's uh, a song called Oh, I can't remember what it's called, but really, really check him out. Uh, I have a love-hate relationship with his music. Every other album is awful. And then there's one that just, just gets me, and I adore it. So, uh, I've got the Drunken Swallow. He's got, uh, I think he's got a similar tattoo. Uh, next up, we have Fatifa, uh, another stand-up one. The design on this one isn't amazing, uh, but uh, I love it. Tifa was my... I was obsessed with her as a teenager, you know. From Final Fantasy VII, I fucking adore that game. And uh, it was, she was my awkward crush. I was jokingly, like, kind of like obsessed over her. I say jokingly. But anyway, this is embarrassing now, and I am listening to myself. But I adored her so much. Loved her character. She was in my team. I had hearts for her, you know, any kind of, you know, I kind of started going for girls that looked like her and stuff. Uh, and it, it's kind of made sense to get a pin up of her. <laughs> Next up, uh, this is on my arm. This was, I think, my third tattoo. On this one, uh, it's two fish, badly designed, circling a uh, flower. Now, I never got this coloured in, and there's a reason for that. The day before I got it done, uh, I met my tattooist in a shop I was working in, and he came in. And he said, do you really want it done because the fish look like willies? And I went, no, they don't. So <laughs> I went and I looked at it for ages. And if you look at the heads of the fish, they do indeed look like pellens. <laughs> so I went, I was like, oh, I've got to get it now. So I'm 32, yeah, nearly 12 years later. And it still entertains the hell out of me. <laughs> And I cover it up and I go, oh, these are my dick fish. <laughs> um, my Deftones White Pony. This is such a simple tattoo design. I literally went in and said, I have this, can you do it? He charged me a tenner and, and did it. And uh, White Pony is probably... 
probably one of my favourite albums of all time. White Pony is one of my favourite albums of all time. I was 16 when it uh, just turned 16 when it came out in 2000, and uh, it just blew me away. No, was it 17 or that? It blew me away, and uh, I still listen to it really regularly now. Uh, when I went to see the Deftones years ago, uh, I went up to a vendor to see if it'll get me a free shirt. Apparently, it didn't. <laughs> Wasted at the time, and my wife was telling me. Uh, next up, I've, I have a Nintendo controller tattoo. This is on my upper left arm. Uh, this is the result of losing a bet. Now, as a kid, I wasn't a Nintendo kid, I was a Sega kid. I had the Master System and the Mega Drive, you know, I grew up with Sonic. But uh, this is kind of iconic. Uh, I still love it now. Uh, I just wanted the simple outline and stuff. The lines aren't very straight and stuff, but it's because I've got awkward looking arms like sometimes, I guess. Uh, next up, I have my kanji. Now, that bit in the middle means warrior. You know, it's like the man sat down doing splits. Uh, the left means life and the right means death. And uh, again, this was uh, the whole samurai thing. Because uh, again, I was terribly edgy. <laughs> On that there was nothing really to say I'd be meaning to get a design to go over it but uh, I haven't kind of, kind of come up with anything I've been interested in yet uh, next up this is the one everyone's seen this is my half sleeve uh, my autumn leaves this again is from uh, Hakakiri which is a rough translation of a hidden beneath the leaves now uh, like I said that book means an awful lot to me and uh, the original design I had for this was Oh, going down my ribs. I was going to get a tree, a um, blossom tree at the top of my arm, going over my chest, and then the leaves falling off of it, going down my ribs. But after the uh, other tattoo down my left ribs, I was like, noop, 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 noop. Uh, This covered up another tattoo I had, which was on my wrist, which said one day at a time, you know, another depression related tattoo, which was shit. So I got that done over. Uh, there's not really much I've said, everyone's seen this. I get asked if I'm Canadian a lot, because of the maple leaves on it. But uh, this covered up a lot of scars and stuff from self-harm, so, you know, covering up the scars and relating to that book really means a lot to me. Now this next one isn't one I don't show very often. This is my Titan. Uh, this is on my right thigh. So unless I want, if I want to show it off, I have to kind of pull down my trousers, which I don't do too often. Uh, this one actually didn't cost me anything. Uh, this was done by an awesome artist called Connor, who uh, is at Dark Side Tattoo Studio in Baltimore. Uh, he just wanted a studio, you know, a piece for his portfolio. Uh, he wanted to do Titanfall, and uh, I love Titanfall. God, I love that game. You know, it's not one of the most influential games I've played, you know, but for playability, I just absolutely adore it. I'm looking forward to the second one. Uh, it, the artwork on this is just great. This is one of the titans from the Mega which you can control on it. And uh, I love it. I've got plans for a lot more tattoos. I would love a. Um, I'm thinking about getting Cherry Blossom at the top of my right arm to cover up the Willy Fish and, you know, a few other bits like that. Uh, <laughs> I just think about, I can't get a full sleeve because I've got X Men on my shoulder, on my own.